Hello everybody, this is Stephen Nelson and this is a little bit of Championship Manager. Now I'm into my fourth season and things are going pretty damn well for me in my fourth season. We're only in October. I just thought I'd give a little bit of a quick update so we can move on and carry on with the rest of the season. So I will show you where we're at. Boom, let's have a look. Look at that. Some decent wins in the Cup Winners' Cup because obviously we didn't win the league so we ended up in the Cup Winners' Cup because we won the Cup. So, decent wins here in the Cup Winners' Cup, scoring quite a lot of goals in the Coke, in the Coca-Cola Cup, the League Cup, but not top of the league. Oh, wrong one. Not top of the league. As you can see, we are one point off Aston Villa. This might be, I might be in the way right here, but basically Villa are on 27 points, we're on 26 points. We've drawn two, they've lost one. Conceding a couple of goals, not many. You know, 12 in 10 is not... No, terrible is it? Scores 34 goals. Things are going excellent for us at the moment. Let's show you who the top scorers are. It is Batistuta as man of the match with uh, three, Cantona with two, uh, three, and Ronaldo and Clive with two. So obviously, it's all coming up from the top. Brian Laudrup, 18 assists in uh, how many games is he on there? 15 games for us. So it's. it's the guy's ridiculous. He is an assist machine. Clive Vert and Ronaldo there getting a, a decent return. Cantona with 11 goals. Batistuta with 9. Clive Vert with 8. Ronaldo with 6. Smashing it, bros. Absolutely smashing it. Um, some good ratings all around. So things are looking decent for us at the moment. Coca-Cola Cup game. Probably going to look to mix it up a little bit. Give people a rest and uh, see what we can do. I'll, I'll play the Coca-Cola Cup game. And on the back of that, we've got Aston Villa, which is a top of the table clash. So... Let's get into it. Let's go and smash Notts County and then let's go and beat Aston Villa. And that might be it for a short update today. Now, loads of people have been commenting saying I should go and sign this guy or that guy or this guy and, and all the rest of it. And do you know what? I would love to. I think Raquel May is one of the ones that people keep mentioning the most. And I can't sign him because he's not on the game, unfortunately. There's tons of players that just simply are not on the game, uh, which we all know would be smashing it at the moment if they was actually on the game in any way shape or form so let's go with let's try Cafu at right back left back we're gonna have to go with Frank De Boa Maldini's out injured centre half I'm gonna give Rio a go and I'm gonna put him alongside let's see who needs a rest I'm gonna go alongside Cannavaro what a centre half partnership that is Rio and Cannavaro in the middle I'm sure we're playing 4-3-3. In the middle, I'm going to go with Zidane and then Beckham. And then I'm going to give Boban a go, I think. Yep, that looks good to me. And then up front, Solskjaer, Cantona and Cliver. What an unbelievable forward line that is. Oh, Cantona needs a rest. Let's go with Ronaldo. Yep, Ronaldo's fine, clever, maybe needs a rest. Whatever, whatever. We'll get Laudrup on the bench and we'll get Ayala on the bench because I think it's only two subs and a keeper sub. So, there we go, that's what we're going to go with. Just check who the captain is. It's always important. Cannavaro. Uh, he's not really captain material. Is Rio captain material just yet? 15 influence at 20 is not bad. Beckham? Nah. Boban? Nah. Who can be captain? Deboa, nah, Oliver Kahn, come on, influence 20, yeah, you're the captain, alright, let's get the game played, can't ask for a better start than that, can you, that's what you want, <laughs> Five minutes in, Solskjaer puts us ahead. Oh, hang on. Just gonna move my chair around here because it's touching the background, making that daft squeak that you can keep hearing. Definitely doing okay in Europe. Um, want to be doing better. Remember, my uh, ambition was to better what Sir Alex did, wasn't it? And I've not done that at the moment. So I've definitely got to 
continue to try and get into the Champions League and the way we do that at the moment is unfortunately by winning the league because the game hasn't caught up with the realities of what stuff um, the realities of what's going on in the footballing world at the moment a few years before they'd started adding runners up and you know eventually down to four teams the game 96 97 isn't aware of that so you've got to win the league if you come second you're in the UEFA Cup oh no if um, if you come below that you're looking at cup winners cup like we're in for the moment so it is what it is confident that we was going to do this anyways Viva Ronaldo the original one Got a couple more videos that I'm going to try and record today. Um, this one probably is going to go out Wednesday. Um, so one of them was going to go out yesterday. So you've probably already seen that. And then uh, I'm, I'm hoping to get like three, four days worth of videos done today. And then be able to chill a little bit for the rest of the week and get some other stuff done. So there we go. Decent result there, I think. No harm into the big one this weekend with Aston Villa can we take Aston Villa down and reclaim that top spot let's have a look where we came just to show you in the league previous years so close yet so far second uh, second, third and fourth is where we've come it's, it's not good enough is it even though you know our highest points tally came third last time around 96 goals scored just wasn't good enough too many draws too many losses this season no losses so far we beat Aston Villa now and we are looking good for it so let's get a, a good team picked here today Van der Sar back in net Cam back on the bench we're going to Boa there's no other options uh, left uh, right back uh, oh, he's doing alright in it but do you know what we're going to stick with Cafu we're going to stick with Cafu and it's going to be Maldini obviously um, it's got to be Ronnie Johnson alongside him I'm going to put Ferdinand on the bench. Beckham makes way for Laudrup. That's a given. Uh, how's Zidane done? Zidane just doesn't suit. I need to find somewhere that fits in with Zidane. The game just doesn't know how good he is at the moment. I think Simeone's probably going to come into central midfield. Kino's injured. Can we go Giggs? Is he going to be fit? don't think he's fit. Berger's not been terrible when I've played him. He's done all right internationals, hasn't he? Let's let's go with Berger. In fact, you know what? let's go with Zidane. Oops, I put on Lampard then. Yeah, let's go with Zidane. It's not bad midfield free, is it? And then any of them forwards need a rest. Patty Stewart. Batigol can come off the bench. Cantona, Ronaldo and Cliver up front and I'll put gigs on the bench as well. How's that look? Maldini as captain. Right, let's do it. Come on United. Top of the table clash. A bigger way win if we can do it as well. Not conceding many goals, Aston Villa. That's something that we need to change if we can score a couple of goals on them. They're also scoring goals too, so this is not going to be an easy game by any stretch of the imagination. Let's just hope that we can get it done and sit pretty at the top of the league. It's a big, big signal for what we're going to do this season if we're able to... Do you know what? I'd even take a draw at the moment here. Oh, I'll say that as he score. Ah, fuck that. I want the win. On paper, this shouldn't be even... This shouldn't even be a contest. This should just be knocking this out of the park. That team's shit. Look at this. Neville, Alan Wright, Southgate, Groots, Sergic, Jochen, Lemon, Deep Mahaman, Atkins, and Bruce Dyer with Bosnich in there. How the fuck are they beating us? There's not enough that you can tweak in this version of Football Manager, Championship Manager, to be able to, to turn a game around that isn't going for you. You've just got to hope that the team you picked plays it out. There's no way 
to to talk to them and g them up a little bit or say the right thing or make a change it doesn't really work like that yes come on loud up goal scorer for a change right let's have a look then let's let's see who we can bring on pulls it down off put gigs on i'm gonna put batch tutor on for Cantona, it's not got into the game. See what effect that has. A win is massive. A win is massive. Come on. Come on, it's all, it seems like it's all us at the moment. Free kick, loud drop, dangerous. Yes! De Boer. Yes, lad. And we make it three, can we make it three? Ooh, corner. Don't let him back into it now. Yes, full time. Three points. Patrick Cliver on a 10. Vinny Arkins. Who the hell is Vinny Arkins? Some random Irish centre forward. Unbelievable. So there we go. Top of the league now. 27 points Aston Villa, 29 points United. We have opened up that gap. And then a couple of teams, Everton, Newcastle on 26. And then there's a big gap there between Crystal Palace, Leeds, Tottenham, etc, 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 etc. Charlton all the way. Not, can't buy a win. So, top of the league. Just a quick little game there for you. I'm going to now leave it until the end of the season where I'm going to see how we've done at the end of the season, um, whether we've been able to pick up some silverware. I need this league title. I've got to start chasing Sir Alex Ferguson. Um, he had... How many did he have on me? So this was 96. We'd have had 94, 96, 93. So Sir Alex had three league titles on me at the moment. All right, I need to win 10 before he retires in 2013. So I've basically got to win 10 out of the next 13 leagues to, to match Sir Alex. Wow, that's some doing in it. I'm gonna have to win like four on a row, five on a row, something along those lines to, to make this happen. So that's it for today. Only a really short episode. Uh stick in the comments. Did you like the opener? Just thought I'd try something different. Um thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.